Hi, I'm Vanessa Williams, author of SharePoint 2010 for Dummies. In this video, I'm going to share with you the little known way to use metadata to manage your SharePoint content, making you much happier using SharePoint. Metadata is typically defined as data about data, but that sounds much more technical than it really is. Data can take the form of any information or content. Attributes, labels, characteristics, location, and types of information are all examples of metadata. So if metadata is information about content, and SharePoint is a content management system, why don't people want to talk about metadata? Well, the reality is that you can happily use SharePoint without giving much thought to metadata. But when clients complain to me about their search results, that's my cue to talk to them about metadata, because how and where they handle metadata has a huge impact on the findiness of information and efficiency of your company. If you have terms that you want to make sure everyone uses consistently, set those up as managed metadata terms. Managed metadata refers to a term or a set of terms that can be associated with multiple site collections. For example, if your company has three sales territories, you can set up a managed metadata term set to store that list of territories. Then, all sites can use these same terms each time they need to associate sales territories with content in your site. Creating a set of terms is easier than you think. To start, your SharePoint site collection must be associated with a term store or a place to store and manage terms. The term store management tool is part of the SharePoint 2010 Managed Metadata Service Application, otherwise known as MMSA. Now to set up terms. Terms can be organized into a hierarchy and grouped into term sets. All this activity occurs in the term store management tool which is accessible from the site settings page of the top level site in a site collection. To open the term store management tool, first browse to any site collection associated with the term store you want to manage and then choose site actions and click site settings. Then click the term store management link and the term store management tool appears. The term store management tool is divided into two panes. The left pane shows a tree view of the term hierarchy and the right pane shows the properties for the current item selected in the tree. Tree View is a little persnickety to navigate. To expand items in Tree View, you have to click the arrow next to the item. To add new terms to an item in Tree View, you have to hover over the item until you see an arrow. Okay, now that you have created these metadata terms, how do you now get them in your lists and libraries? You add a managed metadata column type to your list or library. Recall that SharePoint 2010 provides several kinds of column types, single line of text, number, and date and time being a few. The Managed Metadata column type allows you to add a column to your list that points to some place in your term set hierarchy. To add a Managed Metadata column to a list or library, you first browse to where you want to add the column. On the ribbon, click the List tab and the Create Column button in the Manage Views group. Be sure to enter a name for your column in the Name text box. From here, you select the Managed Metadata radio button. You then want to check the Allow Multiple Values box Displaying the entire path is helpful to provide context for the term. So in the Display Format section, you select either the Display Term Label in the Field or the Display the Entire Path to the Term in the Field radio button. Finally, in the Use a Managed Term Set section, navigate to the section of the term set hierarchy you want to use in this column. All term sets associated with your site appear in this section. Everything below the term you select appears for users to select as a value for the column. Be sure to click OK so that SharePoint adds the column to your list or library. It's that easy. Hey, I know this went by pretty quick. Be sure to check out this little known tip and many others to help you navigate yourself with starting with SharePoint in my book, SharePoint 2010 for Dummies.